I welcome everyone, both old and new subscribers back to Imi's Corner. Thank you so much for your constant support. The enemy frequently attacks in the night, because he capitalizes on when we are less able to fight back. When our defenses are down, and that's when we are tired and asleep. Still, as a child of God, there's no reason to be afraid of the dark, because God has not left us defenseless. In fact, nighttime is a perfect time to experience God's supernatural weapons working on our behalf. Keep watching, to know how to fight and win in the spirit while asleep. My name is Isabella, and this is my story. I work from 7 a.m. in the morning to 5 p.m., and because where I stay is far from my workplace, I always get home late because of traffic and distance. One night, I came back home, tired and feeling sleepy. I got on the bed immediately and slept off. Home sweet home. Finally, I'm home after spending over three hours on the road. I'm so tired. Isabella. Isabella. Come to me. As I slept off that night, I noticed a strange man entered my room. He called my name and took me out, he began to caress and molest me. As he touched me, I was afraid and after he touched me, he disappeared. I woke up and thought it was a nightmare, but this went on and on. This man visited me every night while I was asleep, and I felt so weak. I struggled and struggled each night and I became so helpless. I was so afraid and ran away from my apartment to a friend's apartment. But even in my friend's apartment, the strange man was still visiting and molesting me at night. I found you. You cannot run away from me, I am the great dragon. Now, come to me. Isabella. Isabella. Again. 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 What happened? Did you see the strange man again? I was in the toilet when I heard you screaming and I rushed out. Yes. I don't even know what to do. You know what? Since today is Sunday, we'll just go to church. There is nothing God cannot do. There is no impossibility with God. For now let's just pray and go back to bed. I hope you were blessed in today's service. I have heard all that you said. I just want to encourage you. The word of God in Ephesians 12 verse 12 says, that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand the wiles of the devil. Do you know you can fight and win that strange spirit while asleep? There's no reason for you to be afraid of the devil. Have you forgotten the power you have? The authority God has given to you? Colossians 2 verse 15 And having spoiled principalities and powers, he made a show of them openly, triumphing over them. If a science 2, 6, and hath raised us up together, and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Why should you fear, when the Lord is on your side? You don't need to be defenseless, even when you sleep. If you want to fight and win when asleep, then you must close every open doors that may give the devil access to your life. This could be sin, doubt and fear. Make sure you confess and repent of your sins. The second defense you should use is the blood of Jesus Christ. The word of God in Revelation 12 verse 11 says, And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Always plead the blood of Jesus Christ and cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. It protects you while you sleep. Then you ask God to surround you with his angels. Psalm 91 verse 11 says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. 
tell him, Father send your angels to protect me while I sleep. Then, you meditate on God's word. Saturate your environment with God's word. Read, study and meditate on God's word. Then you pray with the scriptures, you pray with authority in the name of Jesus and demons will tremble. You can saturate your environment with gospel songs and worship while you sleep. Play it and go to bed. When you use this four defenses, you'll be able to fight in the spirit while sleeping. After listening to the pastor, it dawned on me that I am more than conqueror. I shouldn't be afraid of the devil for he that is in me is greater than he that's in the world. I began to study the scriptures, I began to pray with authority, and then one night, the evil spirit showed up again. By the power in the blood of Jesus, I take authority over every satanic attack. I refuse to share my body with any demonic personality, because my body is God's temple. I refuse to be tormented through bad dreams. Dream manipulators, perish with your bad dreams in Jesus' name. According to the word of God in Revelation 12 verse 11, blood of Jesus Christ, fight for me, destroy every evil dreams projected from the occultic realm to cage my life and destiny. According to the word of God in Zechariah 1 verse 19, every horns positioned against me, every horns standing on my foundation saying that I will not lift up my head, I cut off such horns in Jesus' name. Any man and woman using evil to pursue me, according to the word of God in Proverbs 11 19, I command their evil to follow them. Blood of Jesus Christ, fight for me as I go to bed. I cover myself and this environment with the blood of Jesus Christ. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ over my life and destiny. No evil shall penetrate this environment as I go to bed. Father, according to your word in Psalm 91 verse 11, give your angels charge over me even as I sleep. No evil shall befall me tonight, neither shall any plague come nigh my dwelling. Thank you Lord for answered prayers. For in Jesus' name I pray, Amen. Isabella. 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 You here again. What an error to even wake me up from sleep. Do you know who I am? I am joint heirs with Christ. What? Are you no longer afraid of me? Do you know that I can kill and destroy you, right now? The Lord is my light and salvation, whom shall I fear? For God hath not given me the spirit of fear, but of power, and of love, and of a sound mind. I have been called forth out of darkness into the marvelous light of God. 1 John 4 verse 4, Ye are of God, little children and have overcome them. Because greater is he that is in me, than he that is in the world. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through God, and the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down every imaginations, and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. That at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ, every knee bows, and every tongue confesses that Jesus Christ is Lord. Stop! Stop! I command you to stop. For who is he that saith, and it cometh to pass, when the Lord has not commanded it? What shall we then say, if God be for us, who can be against us? For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature, shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Behold, I give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt thee. Therefore, I command you to bow at the mention of the name of Jesus Christ. And that was how I overcame that strange man that visited and molested me every night. Since I knew how to fight in the spirit while asleep, I'm no longer afraid of the dark. I know that God has not left me defenseless. But I am victorious on every side. I hope you've been blessed by my story. Remember, 
to use these four unfailing defenses to combat spiritual attack in the night. Close every door you open to the enemy by searching your life and repenting of any iniquity. Plead the blood of Jesus Christ over your life and surroundings before you go to bed. Ask God to send his angels to take charge while you sleep and make sure you meditate on the word of God. Thank you so much for watching. Please, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment, share this video, turn on the notification bell and subscribe. You are more than a conqueror in Jesus' name, Amen.